final question. What are some of the challenges and benefits of having a small crew? Uh, having an optimally manned crew on board the USS Freedom, which numbers 53 core crew personnel, and then with the surface mission package we have on board, they bring 19 personnel, and then the aviation department brings another 19 personnel. So uh, all in total, to handle the, uh, the operations of this ship, for the ship, the mission package, and the air department, that's a total of 91 personnel on board. This size of ship is about the size of an Oliver Hazard Perry uh, frigate, which uh, totals about 200 personnel. So we only have 91 personnel on board this ship. It is unique, and that is a good way of putting it. Uh, we are well cross-trained to do a lot of different uh, jobs on board this ship. So that's what's really unique about uh, having an optimally manned crew. The training that the crew goes into to be able to conduct a myriad of different jobs on board the ship. Whether that be a culinary specialist being able to cook the food and prepare the food for us uh, at one moment, and then being able to go up to the flight deck to land and take off a helicopter, uh, and then going on to a crew serve weapons mount to handle the 50 cal or M240 machine guns or to go on the line handling to handle the lines. You can apply that concept across the board to any of the ratings or any other personnel on board this ship. We are trained to do a lot of different jobs on board this ship. So we are cross trained, a uh, very high degree of cross training on board this ship. Uh, so that's what really is unique about the manning of this ship. And you need